pretty much my my life was pretty good in 2016 2017 2018 and I essentially I, I quit my software job and I, I decided to go to school for nursing and it was a big mistake because they changed the educational requirements I was trying to get an RN a registered nurse it's a two-year program they changed it to four years and you essentially need a bachelor's degree they, they pretty much wouldn't take my my credits that I had from my human biology degree they, they make you retake these classes so essentially they can make money in my opinion and technically I'm outdated right because I I got my degree like in 2008 and it's like 10 years later right so I would have to brush up on those skills main reason why I wouldn't go to school for four more years is because it would take away from opportunity costs and what opportunity costs is, is just say for example I wouldn't be working I would be spending money and even if I was working I wouldn't be making as much and well without without proper education I can make as much as a four-year nurse essentially and in my opinion that that job isn't better than my current job it's different it's more physical they tell you what to do and I mean I, I'm, I've met a lot of good healthcare workers and, and they're very kind they're passionate they're amazing people but for, for me it, it's not a route that I chose to take I've always wanted to, to do the LVN program and I did it I graduated I got my license and I essentially threw it in the garbage and pre pretty much that that whole two years I was super depressed about about that and it made me less of a man essentially because it, it took away my my confidence um, another thing is uh, I bought a PlayStation I played it for three months and every day I would play for 12 hours a day and it, it hurt me because I'm always focusing on my 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 mental health, my physical health. I wasn't focusing on my relationship. I wasn't focusing on the home. And essentially, it uh, it, it brought it broke my relationship up, and, and it hurt me pretty bad. But I, I feel like I, I had to go through this pain so that I, I can try and grow because I can be stubborn as a person and I, I would always want to do things my way and I would just have a set mindset on now nah, now today I, I wonder why why am I the way I am why do I behave the way that I behave why do I think the way I think and it's it's probably it's because of my past for sure and now nah, now that I know I recognize my problems I want to try and change them I, I want to try and change my my trajectory my future Sometimes I would wonder and I would ask myself, you know, I'm not a millionaire like my friend. Why Why am I not a millionaire? It's because um, I had all of these blocks in front of me. I I wasn't thinking the, the way that he was thinking. And so, some, peop some people, they're, they're not very patient. Like sometimes I'm, I'm not the most patient person in the world, but you, you just have to realize that sometimes it just takes this amount of time for for certain people to get it and and it is what it is Th things happen for a reason it, it, it's a it's a learning process and it, it will take a lifetime to learn and it's gonna take a lifetime to develop I'm pretty sure I would fail a lot and um, I hear that, you know, if you're not failing, you're not trying essentially. Um, a lot of people, social media, they would only post up the highlights. And people would be like, yeah, you know that this person has this, this person has that. But you, you didn't see what it took for them to get it, to, to get where they're at. You, you didn't see all of the rejections, the stress, the, the, the downfall that they had. They, they say that... A, a white, uh, a upper rank like a brown belt as a white belt that never quit, and it's true. You know, if uh, if, if you don't quit, then uh, most likely you you can obtain certain things that you want in life. And obviously, there could be limitations. For example, I'm not I'm not going to be an NBA basketball player. 
that's why I don't waste my time playing basketball. Or I've, I've never been into team sports, but uh, being on a team, it teaches you a lot because most successful entrepreneurs, most, most successful businesses, they have teams set in place. It's not necessarily one person, right? Even if it's a, a UFC fighter, he, he has a camp. He, he has a team that's training him in jujitsu, wrestling, like Muay Thai, well, whatever disciplines, nutrition. He, he has uh, a manager managing his, his business, his accountants, you know. So don't 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 just focus on on yourself. Fo focus on developing these relationships that that you would need. You you need to be able to to talk to people, to be able to build a rapport with them. You need to be trustworthy. You you need to uh, to learn how to smile. I don't know how to smile because in general, I don't smile a lot, and that's why that that's why my I'm, I'm not photogenic in general. I actually had a photo shoot, and the guy was he he was complaining because he was like, "Yeah, you know, your smile it, it's not natural, right?" And it's true, you know. When 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 I'm trying to fake a smile versus when when I'm laughing at when I'm watching comedy, it, it's different, right? Because you you could for sure you could tell. How, however, I'm, I'm feeling you you would see it on my face because I'm I, I wear it on my sleeve essentially. So sometimes when when you smile or when when you try and socialize with people, you 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 could bring somebody's that's down and you could bring them up and it, it, it's a good feeling that if, if you could do it that that's one of the things that I liked about healthcare was you're you're seeing people when they're at their lowest point and and if you could bring them up a bit, it, it's a it's a good thing it, it's a self satisfaction that that you can get out of it. I also worked at the the airport on <laughs> airport security. No, nobody likes going through air, airport security. It's stressful. That job, it was it was cool for the first year, but after that, I, I personally didn't like it. It, it was monotonous. Um, it was kind of a negative environment. It was it was a toxic environment. But just say for example, if, if I was checking somebody's ID, I I would say yeah, you know. You, you have a really nice picture or you have a really nice smile and then they would smile back or I, I, I would tell them to smile <laughs> and I was like yeah that, that's you on your driver's license um, I, I would just make them feel good you know but before they go through the <laughs> the, the x-ray or you know the ha having their bag screen stuff like that um, another another problem that I used to have was um, I used to expect people to uh, to work like me and to think like me and behave like me and that's selfish to to think because they're not me and they didn't grow up like me they don't have the same experiences or talents and well, when you're working on a team it, it's it's good to to work on a diverse team because everybody brings a different piece to the puzzle and it, it's good. If everybody was the same, then maybe it wouldn't necessarily be great. But when when you're managing people, you you have to manage people based off of their strengths. You you have to praise them, make them feel good about the things that they're doing, and just try and create a good environment for them. Because if if they're insecure, they don't feel safe. They they don't feel happy about the work that they're doing. Then they're not gonna give their the best, and that that's why. They say you, you you should be passionate about your work so that you you could be the best that you can be. And if, if you if you could work the best that you can, then it, it's self fulfilling essentially. In life, the the deck will be stacked against you. So that that's why you you have to do the best that you can so that you're not wondering oh you know what 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 went wrong why why didn't things work out? If if, if you did the best you can, then that's the best that you're gonna do. And, and it's okay and, and you can adapt to it and try it again maybe if you have another chance sometimes you don't get second chances sometimes you're not gonna have help and wow when you fell it, it tells you where to go you, you can continue or you can stop but don't run away from your problems may make sure you're coming from a good place make make sure that you persist and if you want something you gotta go get it because most people they're not gonna give you 
They're not going to give you gifts. But if you do get it, be appreciative.